Hello. I want to talk about Zephyr because you're probably wrong about her. And also, you probably, like, don't understand how strong she actually is. Um, first off, she's a buggy frame, so there's a lot of weird interactions and stuff like that. Uh, including with, um, one of her augments, which obviously I will talk about. All of her augments are really good. Um, her air burst one, literally for every enemy hit, gives you 40% damage. As far as I know, there's not an upper limit on that, but that's really easy to test right now, right here. Um, general purpose build, we have continuity, constitution, rolling guard. I don't actually know why I have quick thinking on here. This was just when I was starting Steel Path, so a lot of this isn't really efficient. Got flow, funnel clouds, which I'll be explaining here in a second, stretch, and overextended. Strength is a dumb stat. We really don't need strength as Zephyr is pre purely a CC frame that you could rework this so that like the clouds deal a ton more damage, that kind of thing. Especially with air bursts damage growth. Um but here on air burst rounds it's 40%. I think with this, yeah, it does get kind of nerfed because we're using low strength. You could amp this up, like actually crank this though. So I'll spawn these guys in. People, um, I got mad on the internet because people keep saying that Zephyr's bad um, when she's really good. So yeah, um, Airburst Runes doesn't have an upper limit. So if you're running like a, a pretty strong secondary, um, F it's half is good. But the burst isn't actually that strong. Um, you can get away with like literal manslaughter with this. So, you know how it be. Uh, Airbus Rounds is probably one of the best CCs in the game. Uh, and I do not care. Uh, Larva is nor here nor there. Um, subsumed on Ensnare does not is not as good as everybody makes it out to be. I tried using it for a while, but there's no way to repropagate it unless it does it automatically. Um, and at that rate, why even use it? There's better ones out there that have less buggy interactions. Like Airburst can be buggy because of the way it grabs things. Um, it can slam them into the floor and drag them like a rag doll because that's what it does, but it does linger for a little while, which makes it a lot easier. Um, also, I think people misunderstand. Uh, turbulence is really good. Like, it just is extremely good. Um, I'm just gonna sit here. The augment for this is really good too. It increases your movement speed, it increases your projectile speed. Asshole. Your projectile speed, so if you're using a shotgun or anything like the Kuva Tonkor, any kind of explosive as well, it, it literally deflects everything too. Like, this is one of the best offensive abilities in the game because other than melee attacks, AOEs or um, status effects, you're not affected by it. But I also want to talk about a bug. Um, when you use Funnel Clouds, which adds, which does eight, um, the game doesn't tell you that uh, it actually does pick up. The interaction between this is something that's like held over from. This is like basically Zephyr's old version, where you used to be able to hit the tornadoes to increase their size. That got removed a while ago, if I'm correct. So these ones still have that effect. Uh, obviously, it doesn't increase in size or anything like that, but it does pick them up. So this basically leads to insanely rapid uh, status afflictment. Like, we'll just go, we'll drop the funnel clowns. Obviously, it doesn't pick them up because... We haven't used airburst, but if we use airburst, it will ragdoll them, which causes it to pick them up. And then you hit them once, and first off, it'll lag your game. But everybody has been hit eight times by the epitaph. Which, I mean, that's one of the strongest priming things in the game. It doesn't even require them to be afflicted by airburst. Uh, granted, the range on them are obviously will be a little low and weird because just tornadoes kind of just suck. But um, you hit them, it, pretty much everybody just instantly gets stacked with the afflictions, and then one shot into it, and it'll kill literally everything. Um, I actually used to run a lot of Zephyr for Steel Path um, because you can't be hit hard CC. And during the AoE meta, this was how I got around using some of the more powerful, like, Brahma, Czar weapons, is 
by using um, tornadoes. Um, Zephyr also really, really is good for uh, uh, Spectre Rage because you're CCing everything in. Obviously, this build can change a little bit. I have redirection on here for shield gating purposes. Um, we have continuity, reach, flow, stretch, rolling guard, overextended, Spectre Siphon. I'm using Molt Efficiency and Energize because, again, Strength is pretty much a dump stat unless you're building something specific. Like, we could quickly just, like, workshop, like, a build for something like this. Because air burst rounds is really good. And if you prefer to use that, you could probably get away with a physique on here for padding. Blind rage, which will give this 79% damage increase. Flow for obvious reasons. Redirection isn't needed. Rolling guard. Um, can throw on intensify for more. This is pretty much going to dump stat range. Uh, we don't really need it on this duration because this is important. Uh, range can stay the same, really. Actually, we should increase range. So we're going to take stretch. Just throw that in there for help's sake. And then... Fine. Just really anything for your last slot. Just like redirection because of the shield rework. There you go. And now... I'm going to switch off of Epitaph to the Pyrana, really, that'll work. We will spawn these boys in. And do the funny. It's obviously because of that being normal. 500%. Yep. 500%. Uh, and... Do not forget, Zephyr's passive is an 150% critical increase. I don't remember if it's, it's an additive critical increase because it acts like Urelis. Um, so, every weapon... Uh, projectiles will have a bug with them. Um, it's not very clear what that bug is. I think that's why the Lanka kind of acts weird through tornadoes and everything like that because it's a projectile weapon. It's not hit scan, uh, as with most sniper rifles and such like that. Um... But any, like, standard secondary that can deal a ton of damage really rapidly uh, has a good crit chance. 500% additive damage is nuts. So, obviously the tornadoes cannot critically hit. So, you shouldn't be looking for that. You should just be looking for raw damage potential. Which is why the epitaph works so well. Um, because you're hitting them with funnel clouds you're hitting them eight times actually no you're hitting them 11 yeah you're hitting them 11 times with tornadoes unless it overrides it to eight i don't actually know that number i can check that real quick uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah you're overriding them with eight so uh needless to be said zephyr's super underrated uh, be careful, this will lag your game, obviously. Zephyr's extremely underrated. And people saying that she is bad obviously just haven't played her and are not happy with a frame that is actually fun. <clears throat> That's a joke. But also, um, a lot of people were, like, just complaining about her kit. She's one of the... One of the CC frames ever. I'd, like, if you're looking for something that's not as aggressive and annoying as Valbin, Zephyr would be your go-to pick. Um, a lot of enemies just don't get stuck on geometry because Valbin doesn't have line of sight checks and Zephyr's line of sight checks are a lot more forgiving. Like they can clip through walls and such, but also it doesn't like randomly fling enemies around psychotically. Enemies will just try to gravitate towards the airburst projectile and it lingers it lingers for a few seconds and then dissipates duration honestly isn't that big of a deal unless you just really don't want to keep casting stuff which is why i'm only i think i'm only running primed continuity here yeah um i do have to uh, constitution and quick thinking are honestly not relevant here this can be replaced with literally anything else um but this is an old build that I was using. You know, replace this with like 
intensify, um, like redirection. There you go. There's that. Um, keeps a little bit of the strength, but again, strength isn't needed for this build. Uh, dive bomb isn't really that worth it. I think Tailwind is good only for the fact that if you hold it, you float, which gives you the permanent buff for that. It is a channeled ability, so obviously energy nexus stuff like that won't work on it. Yeah, uh, Zephyr's, Zephyr's really, really good, and I'm tired of people saying she isn't, and saying that um, she's in a bad spot. She's really not. Honestly, any change to Zephyr would probably make her way too strong, because her kit overall is extremely potent for what it does. First off, 11 tornadoes that if you hit with Epitaph will affli afflict an enemy 11 times with status effects? Come on, that's way too strong. Um... Explosive weapons just go hand in hand with her. You can easily chain up CC kills that way. Like I was just demonstrating, where we hit them once with Epitaph and then once with the Tonkor. And granted, not all of the time it will kill things. Obviously, this is in a test room, but there's no reason I should be going onto a forum or looking around. I hate it seeing that people are like, Zephyr's just a bad character. It's poorly designed, and she honestly can't do any late game content she literally can she literally carried me through my initial steel path missions while i was farming at all of my primary and secondary merciless stuff because she's literally broken there's no excuse to say she is a bad character does she work in all content probably not actually counter argument air burst or the tornadoes, I'm not sure which of which of it has the interaction, does slow enemies down by 30-40%. So even then, she's really strong, even against enemies she cannot CC. But also, if they are if they are in the range of tornadoes, which it is hard for them not to be, if you shoot the tornado, it's still going to deal the direct damage. So using funnel clouds, you can quite literally hit them 11 times without any issue. Like, Eximus. And I, I'm gonna go insane if I see another person being like, cool, she's bad, because, uh, she, like, every frame has a bug. Why am I slow? That was weird. Like, every frame has bugs. Uh, it just so happens that because she's an older one, that doesn't really require an update. That's why people think she's this bad. Like, come on. Like, come on. How, how are you gonna say that this is bad? Hello? Shreds over guard. Shreds literally every enemy type in the game. Um, if you're up against infested, you don't even have to use turbulence because it's not necessary. It's a, it's literally overkill because you can stay in the air, you can float, and you can CC literally all of them. Zephyr is one of the best and most underrated frames in the game, and I will have no counter to that other than like maybe any other underrated frame. Because that's valid, too. This character should be seeing a lot more play. She is absolutely nuts. And if, if you're looking for a frame that is low cost to get into Steel Path, Zephyr is literally my biggest pick. There's no other frame other than, like, Octavia, Saren, like, super meta frames that does what she does to such a potent extent. She's absolutely nuts. <laughs> So, if, if anybody tells you to stop playing her, they are just lying directly to your face. She's absolutely crazy in every content. In all content, she's nuts. Just, honestly, if you haven't played her, throw on Uneru because of the armor strip. Get a good gun. Build, build accordingly to range. You can use my builds, obviously. And just try her. She's nuts. You'll probably love her. And if you don't, because she CCs too aggressively, I mean, that's fair. I don't like Valbin for the same reason. Um, yeah, just give her a try. She's fucking insane. Thank you. Uh, this is a, a, an informal PSA.